So once again, thank you, Thasagar, for the wonderful introduction. And uh, of course, first of all, I would like to thank the CAMTEC team for organizing this conference, and uh, particularly Mr. UK Bhattacharya, Director for the NDPC, and also Saro Chaluri for inviting me to this important session on uh, disruptive technologies for sustainability. I understand there are six presenters, presenters and uh, we have like 75 to 80 minutes to go through it. I hope we will have enough time for all all the presentations and all the Q's at the end of the session. Uh, to kickstart the session, uh, I think Dr. Nairaj has talked about the renewable and other things. And of course, we have all seen that over the last few decades, the electrical power grid has transformed significantly. And we have witnessed uh, large scale renewable integration to maximize the RE penetration levels. We have seen adoption of energy storage technologies for RE farming and also to provide essential grid reliability services like the frequency regulation, voltage regulation, and uh, emergency reserve margin. Uh, we have also seen creation of large power pools and markets spreading not just across the states like India, but also spread across several countries. There is a tremendous focus on flexibility of thermal generation, both for gas and steam. We want them to ramp up and ramp down fast enough to allow more renewable integration into the grid. And also from the regulatory point of view, we are moving towards the stricter grid code regime uh, to ensure better grid discipline. The reality is that the power market has, market has, has matured enough and ready to adopt new technologies to achieve energy security primarily. But again, there are several factors which decide the decision, particularly like the ensuring the highest level of stability the reliability of the network, the safety of the network, the efficiency also, so that we can develop the grid in, a, in an environment responsible manner. And this is across the portfolio of generation, transmission, distribution, and also the loads. So while each country has a different generation mix, and so the power markets also have an opportunity to learn from each other to avoid the challenges faced by the you know, there is always an advantage of first mover, but those who move fast also, they face some of the challenges. But the reality is that all the markets have to learn from each other and avoid the challenges that have been faced by several of us uh, across the globe. To provide uh, some insights into the technical solutions, I have a panel of very eminent and learned speakers who would cover a few diverse themes, and I would jump straight into the session. So first of all, I would like to invite and introduce Binayang Kamet, uh, who would talk about the leading energy transition with free electrons. So, bit, so I think by, while Binayang gets, gets ready, so Binayang is a flexi flexible technology director, uh, project director for ESB, that is Electricity Supply Board for Ireland, and the technical team leader of the creators of the world's first physics-based digital twin of the Turlow Hill hydropower plant. So Binang has been highly motivated about the developing a sustainable environment and his previous, you know, the, has, he has actually involved in several thesis and professional projects uh, to ensure that these, uh, these see the light of the day with a focus on large scale efficiency improvement for the, for the various projects. 